Welcome to Disney Springs today, where we're actually going to go through and check out the new to this year Christmas tree stroll. I almost said troll there. Stroll. This year's a little bit different than previous years. Uh, they used to have a Christmas tree trail over near uh, Once Upon a Toy, but they're not doing that this year because they're trying to encourage physical distancing. So instead, they decided to put those themed trees all throughout Disney Springs. So you can kind of meander across Disney Springs and enjoy the holiday festivities. And at the very end, you get a nice little button to commemorate your victory. At the very end of this video, we have a big announcement to make. So be sure to stay tuned to the very end so you don't miss anything. We're also testing out a new microphone this time. It's called the Rode Wireless Go. You might be wondering, Brandon, why is that important? It's just a microphone. Well, it allows me to give you the same audio quality regardless of how far I am away from the camera. So I could be this far, or I could be this far, and you're not gonna see a difference in the audio quality. That's what's special about this microphone. So we're gonna test it out today and see how it is. So if you're ready, let's go. So interestingly enough, it looks like now they are doing security screenings at the parking deck, which is always a good sign. I always felt that that was sorely lacking at Disney Springs. There's nothing wrong with added layer of security. Okay, we're gonna start at the House of Blues gift store where we picked up our map and we can also use it as a redemption location. Let's take a look at this map. Okay, so it's a significantly larger map than I remember from last year. But you'll see they placed 12 Christmas trees in locations all around Disney Springs. And we assign the sticker to the corresponding tree. And it looks like you can pick up your redemption at House of Blues or all the way over near the uh, guest services area of Disney Springs. And it looks like on the back, there's several coupons. So you could even go to Blaze Pizza, Chicken Guy, Planet Hollywood, Paradiso, Splitsville. There's all sorts of good stuff and even some shopping discounts as well. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so I think we're gonna start at the very far left in the west side and work our way toward the center of Disney Springs. Let's go find out what that far tree right here is, which should be right down there. So it looks like just outside House of Blues is the Disney Parks tree. You can see there's all sorts of references to the Disney Parks, such as the monorail. What's around the side here? Oh, the Tree of Life. How fun. I wonder what's on the other side. Looks like you've got Tower of Terror and Epcot. And at the very top, Magic Kingdom. So there you have it. Our first tree, the Disney Parks tree. And they actually have these little placards outside of the trees to kind of give you a hint, or actually give you the answer. If you're struggling to figure out which tree this is, but we know this is the Disney Parks, so we're gonna go ahead and assign that sticker now. Okay, so we're gonna go, let's go ahead and assign the sticker right there. All right. And looks like the next one is just outside the NBA experience, which would be that way. So here's that tree right in front of the NBA experience, getting Madame Leota Haunted Mansion vibes. This is always such a cool tree when you really look into details. Pretty neat. Oh, and you got the Hatbox Ghost. Wow. And the books. I bet you these Christmas lights are purple, it seems. Certainly looks that way. And yep, it says, it says this tree design was inspired by the Haunted Mansion. 
the ghost host says the happy haunts have received your sympathetic vibrations and are beginning to materialize. All right, here we go. Sticker time. All right. This one looks like it might be out front of Splitsville because that's Splitsville and there's AMC and there's Haleo. So let's go find our next tree. So I wanted to point this out to you guys. There's the Haunted Mansion tree and check out the progress on the M&M experience at Disney Springs. Building's starting to take shape. Should be exciting. Interestingly enough, in the top left-hand corner of the building, you can see those rods sticking out. They're kind of in a circular pattern. I wonder if those are gonna be like light up M&Ms, like giant M&Ms. That'd be pretty fun. So just outside Splitsville, looks like we have our frozen tree. Not a tree that's frozen, but the frozen inspired tree. Let's see how many different references we can spot. Looks like ice skates. Looks like uh, ice skates on top as well. Oh, carrots. Looks like carrots on top. That would clearly be for Sven. What else is on here? Snowflakes? Anything else exciting? Nothing that screams frozen, per se. They're just subtle references. Interesting. And it says this tree design was inspired by Frozen with the famous Olaf quote, some people are worth melting for. Pretty neat. Kind of surprised there's not a lot of Elsa and Anna on this. Or even Olaf. But it's one of those subtle trees that if you know, you know. Also, Bongos is gone. I know we've covered this before. But uh, Beatrix is going to be going here. This is the old site of Bongo's. That building is no more. Beatrix was supposed to open this year, but it seems that that has been pushed back. That's more of a healthy restaurant and coffee bar. I believe they have a big selection of vegan food. So yeah, we'll see the status of that over time. All right, applying the Olaf sticker. Ugh, there we go. And it looks like the next one's gonna be in front of the food truck bazaar. Let's go check it out. Something else I wanted to cover to the left of Splitsville on the way to the Orange Garage is the old, I guess, pop art store that has since been converted or in the process of being converted over to Everglaze Donuts and Cold Brew. Looks pretty neat. I don't know if it's gonna beat Voodoo Donuts, but clearly it's uh their answer to voodoo. This one definitely looks like the Lion King tree. Check out the references to the Lion King. You got the paw print. Wow, and the African style. How neat. And the sign does say, inspired by Lion King. And the song, The Circle of Life by Elton John. Okay, here we go. Boom. All right, it looks like the next one is gonna be in front of the Fountain of Wishes out here. And maybe over near uh, the bridge, bridge area near Planet Hollywood. Or there's Planet Hollywood. So yeah, somewhere in there, there's like three in this area. Let's go knock them out. Interestingly enough, I had to stop in the Marvel superhero headquarters because this jacket caught my eye we have one similar to this that we wore on the cruise, but this one is made by our universe for $59.99. So if you guys liked the jacket that Jen and I wore on the Halloween on the High Seas cruise, you can get it here now. Oh, I know which tree this is. This one is definitely Fantasia. I'm sure the hat probably gives it away on top. You can tell with all the musical notes and the wash bucket, it's definitely Fantasia. Check out all the hidden details. You got the glass seahorse ornament. It says here, this tree design was inspired by Fantasia with musical notes that play out the Nutcracker Suite. Okay, so I set up shop on this unused Disney Vacation Club podium. 
to put our next sticker on the board here. All right, so now we just need to go over to the Fountain of Wishes, which is right around the corner. And I believe this is the one at the entrance to the Orange Garage. I think I saw it when I came in, but we'll, we'll get a closer look at it and see what sticker we assign to it. Something that just caught my eye outside of the AMC Dine-In Theater are these steampunk reindeers. They're very odd, actually. I'm not quite sure. They almost look like they belong over near House of Blues. This is looking like a Mulan tree with all the Japanese cherry blossoms and the fan and the dragon. This is a fun tree. Oh, and look, there's Mushu right in the middle there. And the lanterns. This is a fun tree. How neat. Yep, definitely a Mulan tree. And the quote, the greatest gift and honor is having you for a daughter. All right, time to apply the Mulan sticker. All right, time to go to our next one, which is right in front of the orange garage, which should be right over there. Let's check it out. It's always fun taking a look at this photo backdrop just out front of AMC Dine-In Theater. This time they're advertising the Pixar movie Soul, which will be streaming on Disney Plus starting December 25th. Well, this should be pretty simple to figure out. It's definitely a Star Wars tree. The lightsaber on top should be the dead giveaway. There's all sorts of fun stuff jam-packed into this one. You've got BB-8 ornaments, you got the Little Jawas, you got Porgs, TIE Fighters. This is a fun one. Also, I'm glad that they have the lights turned on on this tree because there is a pretty fun Easter egg. The lights form the shape of a hand holding the lightsaber up. You'll see it better in the evening. You can kind of see it faintly, but you'll definitely see it at night if you come here at night. It's pretty neat. All right, time to put my Yoda sticker on. Boom. Okay, we've only got a few left. It looks like we got five, but I only see three unless... Ah, they hit them under there. Okay. All right, that's a little tricky. So important to note, don't forget the last two trees buried underneath the sticker sheet. So, next, looks like we get three consecutive. Uh, I'm assuming that's underneath the, like, almost near the Tommy Bahama store. And then there's Zara, so that's got to be the main tree. Okay, let's just, instead of trying to figure it out, let's just go see it. So if the pink polka dot bow tie up at the top isn't the giveaway, maybe the rest of the tree is. This is clearly a Minnie Mouse tree, and I would even throw Mickey in there because of the yellow and black ornaments. Signature to Mickey's attire. Pretty neat. And it does say on the plaque, the tree design was inspired by Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse with a fun little quote from the both of them. All right, time to apply the sticker. And the next one is not far at all. It's right over there. Let's get a closer look at it. Well, it's definitely a Pluto tree because of all the dog reference. You got the stick with the bow on it, that's fun. And the feeding dish and the collar that says Pluto on it. This, so far, this is probably my favorite tree. And up at the top, it's got a little doghouse that says Pluto on it. And it looks like on the other side they've got a drumstick. Oh, Pluto. All right, sticker time. Pluto, sticker applied. And then this one I'm assuming is the main tree, which is probably this one. Let's check it out. And in the center of this plaza is the grand Disney Springs tree. Looking ever so classic love the gold color scheme. 
How neat. Also, side note, those right here, that tower, and the tower that you see right here are Snope machines that you'll actually get to see if you ever come here in the evening. So if you want to experience Snope like you saw on Main Street for the Christmas parties, you can come here. I believe it's in three different locations. This is one of them, though. All right, let's apply this sticker and move on to our next tree. All right, applying the tree sticker. Oh, no. Ugh. I knew it was bound to happen at some point while carrying the camera in one hand. All right, and now we got to go to the hidden ones behind here. Looks like we got two more. One in front of the World of Disney and one in front of... Uh, the pin store, it looks like. All right, let's go check them out. It could be one of two trees. So just recently opened up is the Love Pop store. That's going to be your location if you're looking for a greeting card or a celebratory pop-up card. And I can already see one off in the distance here. A fun sloth. A sloth wearing a Santa hat and giving a present. I can only imagine. But we're on a mission today. We gotta find the last two trees. So we'll have to come back and see the Santa sloth another time. More than likely with Jen. Well, this is clearly a New Orleans themed tree. Home to one Disney princess. And that would be Tiana from Princess and the Frog. It's a fun tree. All the musical instruments and the blue and gold bring back memories of <laughs> Mardi Gras Universal. All right, time to apply the sticker. Right there. Next up is the last one, which can only be one Toy Story. Let's go uh, find our last tree and then redeem our prize. It's definitely starting to get busier as we creep up around noon on Sunday afternoon here at Disney Springs. You know it's a busy day at Springs when the World of Disney entrance has a line that goes all the way back behind Basin just to enter. Oh, it's gonna be a busy weekend for sure. And the award for probably the most fun tree goes to the Toy Story tree. I mean, look at the colors on this thing. And there's just so much to look at. You got the green alien ornaments. You got the Woody Sheriff badge and the big one rocket from the first Toy Story. Wow, there's so much to look at. Check it out, you even have a Buzz Lightyear. You see him flying there on that ornament. And then down here, you even have a Woody ornament. Woody Jess and Bullseye. This is a fun tree. What a, what a good one to end on. Indy. All right, the final sticker to be applied is Toy Story. And check it out, we can go right into Once Upon a Toy to go redeem our prize. Now, since we happen to be near it, figure when in Rome, let's check out the pin store and see if there's anything new that has hit the shelves. There's definitely some new ones. You got Chippendale Thanksgiving 2020. That's one that Jen's gonna have to get her hands on. They even have one limited edition with Walt Disney on it for Walt Disney Day 2020. An 80th anniversary of Fantasia limited edition. That's a really neat pen, but oh, I think that one's cooler. Oh, Night on Bald Mountain. That is cool. And it even looks like they have Pixar character cameos. That's always a fun one. You can see the balloons from up. And in the front, lots of Toy Story reference. Nice little crossover. You'll see they even have Boardwalk, Wilderness Lodge, the Grand Floridian, Epcot, Polynesian Resort, Beach Club, Saratoga Springs Ornament or Gingerbread Collection. That's a neat one. Limited edition. 
check out this Disney Cruise Line limited release pin with Mickey and Minnie on it. It's almost like the pattern of that Spirit jersey that Jen got the other day. Check out this cool addition for the holidays. You can get a pin advent calendar that comes with this folding tree that you can mount the pins to and their little ornaments. That's cool. Wow. Now that, that's an advent calendar I can see myself enjoying. Okay, so earlier I said that that location right there is Once Upon a Toy. It is not, it happens to be the Photo Pass location, which is a redemption point. Well, we have completed the Christmas tree stroll of 2020 here at Disney Springs. And as a result, you win this button. You might remember they had the button last year, not for the Christmas tree trail, but it was for the uh, Stitches holiday gift hunt. But uh, this year, they're trying to keep people physically separate. So instead of making a trail, funneling a bunch of people in a small cramped corridor, they've spaced it out amongst all of Disney Springs. And you get a button as your reward. But you'll also see that you get all sorts of good discounts too. So since we're next to it, I think we're gonna try Blaze. I mean, I've had it before, but it's a good lunch option, especially with an additional 10% off. Now, when it comes to my pizza, I'm more of a plain Jane type of person. I go with a simple pie, which is just mozzarella cheese, Parmesan, red sauce, and a little bit of sea salt and oregano on it. But if you've never been to Blaze Pizza, you can't beat the price for what you're getting. Usually it takes about anywhere from five to seven minutes. Throw it in the oven with an open flame and it's out and ready to go and ready to enjoy. Not bad if you're looking for a cost-effective, good lunch or dinner option for the whole family. I forgot to put on my button that I got. And there we go. Proud owner of the Christmas Tree Stroll Button 2020. In addition to the steampunk reindeer, you got steampunk penguins. This is kind of cool. I wonder how many different animals they have across Disney Spring in steampunk form. That's gonna do it for us here at Disney Springs today, where we checked out the new Christmas tree stroll for 2020 and got our button to commemorate it, and uh, also enjoyed some good lunch at Blaze Pizza. Now I promised a big announcement, so here we go. Starting on Monday, December 14th, will be the return of the highly anticipated Tourist Treks 12 Days of Christmas. 12 straight days of daily vlogs. Uh, some theme to Christmas, some theme to cooking, some theme to all sorts of fun stuff all around the theme parks. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that you can get informed when we start doing our 12 Days of Christmas Marathon. And if you don't know what that's like, be sure to hit the playlist in the top right hand corner of the screen to last year's 12 Days of Christmas. It gives you an idea of kind of what you're in for. Since we have a whole new set of subscribers and we have grown and almost doubled in size since the last time we did one. But if you like the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up because it definitely helps the YouTube channel grow. And if you haven't yet, like I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so that you can get notified when there's a new video that goes live. And until next time, see you real soon. Button. Oh, 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 oh,